Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. Today I want to show you one of my favorites, chocolate chip cookies. But I'm going to make them even better with the addition of brown butter, because brown butter makes everything better. Check the description box below for the full ingredients list. Let's get started. I'm going to start by browning one cup of butter over low heat for about 20 to 30 minutes. This will toast the milk solids in the butter, resulting in a rich, nutty flavor. This is why brown butter is also referred to as beurre noisette, which roughly translates to hazelnut butter. Keep an eye on it because it can burn very quickly. When it reaches an amber color, remove it from the heat and cool it down. Now in a large mixing bowl, I'm going to add one cup of brown sugar, half a cup of white sugar, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and one cup of cooled brown butter. Don't strain the brown butter or discard of the milk solids because that's where all of the flavor is. Now I'll whisk the mixture until it's fully combined. Next I'm going to add two eggs. I'll first crack them into a container and add them to the mixture one at a time. This makes it easier to whisk, as well as reducing your chances of getting eggshells in your cookies. Whisk the mixture very well until the eggs are fully incorporated. Now we'll add one cup of flour, that's half the total amount, and I'll lightly whisk that into the mixture. When the flour is added in two parts, it's much easier to mix. Now I'll add one teaspoon of baking soda, a quarter teaspoon of grated nutmeg, and the remaining cup of flour. Mix with a spatula until it's almost fully combined, then add one cup of chocolate chips and finish mixing. If you prefer, you can also use nuts or raisins. Next I'm going to roll the cookies into golf ball sized balls and place them on a cookie sheet about one inch apart. This recipe will yield about 20 large cookies. I really like the combination of chocolate and salt, so I always sprinkle a little flaky salt on top, but this is optional. Now I'll place the cookies in a preheated oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 11 minutes. When the cookies are done, remove them from the oven. Be sure not to overcook them. Place them on a wire rack for a few minutes to harden up. When the cookies are hard enough to pick up, remove them from the pan and cool them completely. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe to see more. If you tried the recipe, let me know in the comments how it goes, or if you have any requests for future videos. Till next time, take care and good luck cooking.